What's up, guys? I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. We can all agree this has been quite an eventful week, and a lot has happened to XRP in the XRP community. In today's video, I'm going to get you up to speed with everything that has been happening in the last couple of days. But before that, let's head over to CoinMarketCap.com and check out the current price of XRP. As we can all see, we are lingering in the green zone today, and the price has been up by 2.13% over the last 24 hours. We are currently sitting at $1.04, and there are prospects for the price going even higher in the coming days. With that said, let's roll that intro and get into today's video. As always, welcome back to MoneySide, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, welcome to the XRP family. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. To rev those engines today, we get started with this tweet from Val5 Inks that says, Ripple development team rolls out a preview of massive XRP ledger upgrade. Before we look at what has been said in that article, we can all agree that Ripple has been making so many steps in the right direction. And now we have this new upgrade that was first announced in June to support federated sidechains. According to Ripple, these sidechains could unleash decentralized finance and smart contracts across the broader XRP ecosystem without decreasing the XRP ledger's efficiency. Also, according to another earlier announcement from the RippleX team, the engineering preview of this new upgrade lets the developers view and comment on the technology as well as the experiment. In fact, even David Schwartz, the chief technology officer at Ripple, shared with his followers on Twitter that this new upgrade in the XRP ledger will expand the use cases of the XRP ledger. Sidechains make it easy for developers to customize the chain for their use cases, such as private networks, securities trading, DeFi, and speaking of DeFi, bringing Ethereum smart contracts to the XRP ledger could lower the barriers to entry for developers to build powerful DeFi apps with cross-chain interoperability. And we're working on an Ethereum virtual machine, an EVM sidechain. Between Ethereum smart contracts, hooks, and smart transactors, XRP Ledger developers will be able to build whatever they want. These new developments on Ripple mean that things could be looking up for XRP in the coming months. All these partnerships and developments that the Ripple team has been pushing forward will skyrocket the prices of XRP to the moon. So don't loosen the grip on that XRP bag. Great things are coming soon. Now moving ahead, we will look at Ripple's progress with the SEC lawsuit. We have this tweet from John Deaton One that says, even if you hate Ripple and believe XRP is a shitcoin, any objective person that reads the facts contained in my open memo below agree that there is more than enough information to warrant an independent investigation into the gross appearances of impropriety. This was in response to a tweet that attorney Jeremy Hogan posted earlier, where he had shared that interested in the Ripple v. SEC case, I've subtly renamed it, then the below is a must read. John E. Deaton 1, ND Crypto Law US, have put together the most amazing summary of what we have learned about this lawsuit and the connections between those involved. In his tweet, Jeremy Hogan shared an article posted on Crypto Law US that says, I believe we have reached a turning point in the fight against the Securities and Exchange Commission's unfair and abusive treatment of XRP holders in its lawsuit against Ripple. So much evidence has come out in this case that exposes the outrageous actions of the SEC and the key figures behind the lawsuit that I felt it was important to send you a complete summary of what has happened, why it's important, and what 20,000 XRP holders and I are doing in this fight. It is a story of an overreaching regulator unfairly picking winners and losers in the blockchain business space, a web of insider connections and conflicts of interest, and thousands of retail investors who were egregiously harmed by the federal agency that is supposed to be protecting them. Throughout this article, Jeremy Hogan brings a lot of legal clarity to the XRP holders and the entire crypto community. He talks about the key players in this skirmish, starting with Jay Clayton, the former SEC chairman, William Henman, and Ethereum. If we delve into the Ripple and SEC lawsuit, we all have a few facts that everyone in the XRP army probably knows by now. To start with, XRP was never issued in an ICO. XRP operates on a fully decentralized ledger and has been used by project developers and consumers with no connection to Ripple for years. 
That means that XRP better fits the criteria of Hinman's speech better than Ether does. In fact, Ripple only controls 4% of the validators on the XRP ledger. Ripple once objected to a change on the ledger but was overruled by the majority of validators. This right here drives home the point that the XRP network is arguably more decentralized than the Ether network. While the SEC will try to pretend, we all know that Ether is the only altcoin in the market that the SEC has affirmatively anointed as a commodity or currency and not a security to date. Even while SEC Chairman Gary Gensler will try to pretend right now, he said in 2018 that Ripple needs regulatory clarity. At this point, it's very frustrating because the government has gone ahead and is playing pick the losers and winners game in an environment where there is no regulatory clarity at all. Moving on to the next tweet, we have this very interesting one from Mac Attack XRP that says, XRP stays above $1 as Ripple releases XRP Ledger upgrade. Now, as we mentioned earlier at the start of today's video, Ripple has released a new upgrade to the XRP Ledger. This has put XRP under strong buying pressures, especially with this massive update from the Ripple team. XRP is currently trading about $1.04 with a daily trading volume of about $4 billion. With a market cap of $49 billion, XRP is now the most valuable cryptocurrency and has gained over 12% this week alone. It is expected that the price of XRP will climb even higher, especially with the release of such bullish news. Next, we've got this tweet. It's from Crypto Vet XRP that says, Ripple decides to add liquidity to the ODL corridors through escrow XRP release. Under this tweet, we can see that he further shares an article from AmbCrypto.com. If we look into that, we can see that Ripple received its first installment of $1 billion in the last quarter of 2021, and something interesting happened after it. Whale Alert highlighted three transactions in which a total of $1 billion XRP was released from the Ripple escrow wallet almost 18 hours back from the time of reporting. Ripple was swift to move $100 million and returned $800 million XRP to escrow as per escrow tracker Leonidas Hajluza. We can all agree this was the first time Ripple was making use of such big chunks of XRP released from escrow in months. Usually, Ripple will lock in higher amounts back into the escrow. In 46 months, Ripple has released 46 billion XRP, of which 38.1 billion went back into escrow. Ripple has re-escrowed 828 million XRP every month, on average so far. Ripple revealed in late 2019 that it would start using a different approach to XRP volume and it would take a more conservative approach for its sales. As we can see, Ripple has carried on with this idea, putting a large sum of XRP back into escrow. Ripple moved over 90 million XRP to its ODL corridors in Mexico, Luxembourg, and the Philippines. Now, as we wind up today's video, we have this tweet from at Ripple. We can see that Ripple announced through their Twitter page saying, we are incredibly excited to launch our $250 million creator fund to enable creators to explore new use cases for NFTs on the XRP ledger and engage more deeply with the communities they care about. Following up on this, Ripple's creator fund is igniting the global creator economy and blockchain developer communities. Ripple is simply creating a tokenized future that will transform the way people buy, sell, and manage all kinds of assets. With the Ripple Creator Fund, the company is committing $250 million to allow the creators and their partners to kickstart their participation in this new exciting era. With that said, time now to take a look at the charts. We broke out the 200 MA daily, and it looks like we are going straight up for a new all-time high, finally. The last two times after we broke the 200 MA, we have seen a nice run-up. Everything is looking great and in favor of the bulls. The MACD crossover and breakout in the RSI along with the breakout of the 200 MA could be enough to keep pushing the price. Stay bullish on XRP, guys. There is a reason it has this major SEC lawsuit. The standard must set the precedent. This banker coin has so much fundamental potential and real-life utility, its infrastructure and its financial ecosystem is very strong and it's bound to blow past all-time highs once the SEC lawsuit is settled. Ripple has the power to change the world. International cross-border payments has always been an issue, and this is the coin, establishing the paradigm shift to a solution. 
It is strongly undervalued. It is a fire sale at over 50% off. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. Thank you as always for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like this video and to click on the subscribe button below. Turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.